Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another Sir Amateur or Bucket Spigot plug and tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to subscribe up because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in dribbles below. I will give you a shout out when I get around to it. Like this week is Advanced Bands by Leco? Leoko? Leoko? I think that's right. And uh, there's a whole lot of people who request this one. It's fantastic. It gives you warns, mutes, bands, kicks, IP bands. You do a player history. So you can check the history of players and see how many times they've been warned, how many times they've been kicked, how many times they've been banned. You can check uh, ongoing bands. It has a web panel plugin. All you need is a database that's reachable. It also provides pre-formatted layouts and time layouts, which is pretty cool. So if you have like, hey, warn them this one uh, by defaults for your mods and admins, that's really cool. Are using this on a bungee cord? You have to set it up on the bungee cord and you have to set the permissions that we're gonna talk about on the bungee cord. It won't work if it's on all of the servers. So that's another perk of this is it can work on the bungee cord and it runs across all servers then which is really cool so we have our unsuspecting victim here so we can do warns and then we can uh put in the the player there's no warns on there and you can do check evil doppelgamer it's going to show you if he's been muted or banned or how many warns he has ip address uuid all of that stuff which is really cool so with that you can then ban them based upon their IP address. Do ban list, it's gonna show you all of the bans that are going on right now. So it's kind of interesting how this is all laid out. Um, we're gonna talk about kick first, which is gonna be kick and then player. So we're gonna do evil doppelgamer and then you can give a reason in here or you can give an example layout. So if you just wanna say, for being dumb, this is what they're gonna see when they get kicked. Or you can give an example layout in here, which is pretty cool. So instead of putting the reason in there, you do at sign, and then this references a name in a configuration file for layouts. And we'll take a look at that when we get to those. But when they get kicked, they're gonna see um, a very different screen, which is really cool. It's super customizable. where you can have multiple different types of layouts for different reasons that they get kicked. It's very nice. So the use means they'll be able to use that command. Exempt means they will not be able to be kicked. And then notify means they will be notified when that is being used. You can ban people as well. So bans, and it's the same, uh, we don't want to ban ourselves. Same layout here. Reason or layout, which is really cool. And then you can also warn them, which I really like the ability to warn them because then it keeps track. So if you have a problem person and two different mods are kind of like interacting with them, one mod can check to see if another mod has already warned them. And if they keep doing that, then they can just step it up to the next level. Um, so it's just evil doppelgamer, stop, eat. And then that's what they see is they see that stop it message. And then if we go to warns, now you can see that they have uh, two active warns, do unwarn, but, and then the ID number of the warn that they have. So then when you do warns, evil Dapa gamer, that one is not available. Same thing like mute and unmute, and then uh, ban and unban. So banning, and then they're gonna see that message if you do that, or the reason, which is ab.ban.ip, ab.ipban.exempt, and ab.ipban.notify. So, the permissions aren't really uniform across the whole plugin, so be sure to, to look those up, review those, make sure that you're setting them up correctly. And then you have your temp ban, temp mute, and temp warn. So if you do a temp uh, ban and then player, and now you can either do a time layout using a hashtag, and I think the, the uh, example time or example layout, I don't recall off the top of my head. We're not gonna use it, but you can do that. And then I'll use that layout for kicking them and uh, temporary banning them, all that stuff. You can actually use that in addition to the layout of what they're going to see. So you can do that time layout, and then that's going to be how long they will get 
get banned. So rather than putting in like one month or two days and three hours or eight hours, or whatever, they just put in this command. It references references that layouts.yml, which is really cool. And then you can do the at example, you know, layout or whatever. And then that is what they're going to see when they get temp banned, which is really slick. Otherwise, it's just, you know, the number and then MO references months, D, lowercase d references days, H references hours, M references minutes, and then seconds. So we're going to do temp ban 10 seconds um, because. So then they're going to get get temp banned and it's going to show them the length or duration in there. The last command that you have is you have history evil doppelgamer and it's going to show you the history of everything and when they've been pardoned and when they've been denied and all of that stuff. Um, it's really slick. You can see a lot of detail. So let's jump into the configuration and take a look. Here we are in the server. You can see we are running 1.11 as of December 10th, which is really cool. We're going to jump into the plugins and then advanced ban. Uh, there's no real supporting plugins for this, which is pretty fantastic. We're going to jump in an advanced band. Once again, if you are going to try to run this on a web page, you need to change a few things. First thing we're going to take a look at is the configs, then we're going to take a look at the layouts and then the messages and come back to the game. All right, so you have to set this to true in order to use the database and then use this as the web first. You can enable and disable detail messages. Uh, you can change the time difference depending upon the time zone you're in. You can also mute custom commands. So when they are muted, they can't run other plugins to do stuff, which is really slick. You just put the command in here without that forward slash and you can change the date format, which is really slick. And then the UUID fetcher. Now, if you are running a cracked server now, I don't support cracked servers. They drive me crazy. However, if you are using it, you need to disable the UUID fetcher. Otherwise it's going to not work for you. Now here's all the uh, warn actions in here. And then in here you can change and give out different permission notes so that some mods can can mute and ban for certain amounts of time or not enough time or whatever based upon this. So this is AB dot temp band dot duration dot one and then that is i believe in seconds yes so that's like 10 minutes so let's take a look at the layouts which is kind of the coolest feature of this plugin is here is the example layout that we're using you can change this however you want and then that is the message they're going to see when they get kicked which is really cool and then here is the example time layout so that um you can put in a certain amount in here and then that's the amount of time that they're going to get muted or banned or temp banned or whatever um, if you put that time period in there, which is really cool. You got a few uh, variables that you can put in here to, to change this up or you can just change the color code or you can fill in your the TeamSpeak IP in the forum. So if you want them to know, hey, go appeal your temp ban or whatever at this place and that's a direct link to go ahead and post on a forum. The last bit is it messages. I love it when the authors do this. It allows you to really customize and color code the plugin to you, what you want it to be on your server. It's very thorough. Um, go ahead and cruise through there and make the changes as you like. Let's go ahead, wrap it all up. All right, guys, very cool plugin, Advanced Bands. I really like it. It's like a lot of different band plugins. I love the warning and the the checks and the history and all that stuff. It very easily runs on Bungie Cord as well as has a plugin ability for a web page without really any front end development. You just need to, your web page needs to reach the database that is storing all the information and then your players can look that up. Go ahead, check out the author's page for more information on that. However, hopefully this gets you guys up and going with this plugin and that, that you guys really like it. The layouts is super cool. That's my favorite. This is Kyle's reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Uh -oh.